this. Recording okay. and rock and roll. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my show. This is Albert Corey, the tax man. Today, I got an awesome guest. It's Mr. Frank King. You ever, ever want to be on a podcast 10x? Well, Mr. Frank has been on seven, got seven 10x's. He's probably one of the leading people in the country how to get a 10x. He's the man with the master plan to be on 10x. Today on our show, he's going to show you how to get on 10x. Mr. Frank, please tell us everybody your name and obviously what you do. Uh, Frank King, I am your 10X coach at your10xcoach.com. And I do have seven 10Xs. I did a Google search the other day, Albert, and I cannot find anybody who has seven except for me. So I may have the unofficial world's record. I don't know. Yes, course, yes. My clients have dozens of them. And it is a, it's a, it's a step-by-step -step process. It takes a while. If you apply today, you're not going to be on stage for at least four or five months. There's always a four or five month runway up to a TEDx. Most of my clients, in addition, take two to four months to land one. And what I do is I provide them with the application links because TED doesn't make it easy. And I think they don't make it easy because they want to keep the number of people who apply down. Uh, and a way to do that is make it hard to find the link. So I find them. But let me tell you how you can find the application links for a TEDx. And I just put this in the chat. You can go to TED.com forward slash TEDx forward slash events. TED.com forward slash TEDx forward slash events. Now, when you get there, you can put in United States, the month of, let's say, February and 2023. And what will happen is you'll get a map of the U.S., lots of blue dots, and those are all TEDx talks in February in 2023. Now, if you click on one of those, it'll take you to the official TEDx site for that event, but there's no link there. So what you have to do is, is copy and paste the name of that particular TEDx, like TEDx Naperville, you know, in Illinois. Right. And put that in a Google search and find the actual website for the actual event. So it'd be tedxnaperville.com or .net or .edu. And usually there, you can find a button that says apply to speak. Or I've just discovered this recently, a number of the TEDx's have apply to perform. They have a magician say, or perhaps a comedian or a juggler or a singer in between some of the TEDx talks. So you have, if you have another talent, you how, can- How did you become, here's a question. How did you become um, a TEDx? How did you find TEDx? And, and explain to people who don't know what it is. Okay, first of all, how did you, how did you become a, why did you become a 10X speaker? Well, because I had been a comedian for two and a half decades. And I decided that I wanted to be not a funny speaker, but a speaker who was funny to become a professional speaker, you know, have content, teach people something. And once I decided what I was going to teach them, which is, by the way, suicide prevention as a workplace health and safety issue, my next hurdle, Albert, was to convince the meeting planners I could do something serious. I've been doing stand up either in clubs or corporate stand up for two and a half decades. So my wife said, do a TEDx talk. And I said famously, what's a TEDx talk? A TEDx talk, TED talk, is a once a year, three to seven day event in Vancouver, British Columbia with Elon Musk and Bill Gates and Brene Brown. Big dogs of the world. Yes, the X means local. There are 200 plus TEDx events in the US every year and 1200 worldwide. So just by chance, I got an email and it said, would you like to apply to speak at our TEDx? Would I? So I applied and I got it. And the application goes in. If they like it, they set up an audition either on Zoom or if you're close enough, live. And if they like what you do at your audition, then you become one of the 10 or 12 speakers who stand in that big red dot of carpet on the stage. And again, there are 200 plus events in the U.S. every year. So a bit of a why, Can I ask you the next question in my, my little thing is, why would anybody want to put 10X on their resume for my crowd who's watching this? 
Well, it depends. If you are, let's say, a speaker, a TEDx probably will not get you a booking as a speaker, but it's certainly going to help you get a book. Great resume builder, correct? Exactly. And branding. Right. It's one of the reasons I've done seven is all of them are on mental health, which is my topic, my lane. And so it builds every time I do one, it builds my brand. And so if you have a particular topic that you are passionate about as a speaker, then that's what your TEDx should be about or TEDx is. Uh, let's say you're an author. You can't sell your books from the stage because they do nothing. They do nothing commercial at a TEDx. But in the in the, um, you know, the flyer or not the flyer in the what do you call it when you, uh, when the list of speakers, if you're in an event, they got a list of speakers, um, you can put program, your- show program. It'll say you wrote this book. And then when you're introduced, the MC will say you wrote this book. And then when you put, it goes up on YouTube in the description, you wrote this book and you can talk about all the wonderful things in your book. You just can't go, go to Amazon, get my book. Okay. Very cool. So uh- that, that would be uh, your speaker. What do you like to do? And then we're almost done with this show. Yep. What do you like to do when you're not um, TEDxing or talking to me on Thursdays at Speaker's Playhouse? I am a master's bodybuilder. I just did my fourth bodybuilding competition last Saturday. At, uh, I think I competed in the 40 and over master's bodybuilding category. And I took second. Cool. What? Well, here, here's, here's our rapid fire. And I know you got to go get ready to go be on a club cruise. Um, yes. What are, give me three tips and we'll go tip number one on, on TEDx. Give me three tips. Tip number one. You could use. Yes. The one thing that gets most people thrown into the no pile right away is too much, too many ideas or too much about one idea. That's tip number one. Tip, tip number two. Tip number two, need to be passionate about the idea. They are, it's hard to be inspiring, Albert, if you are not inspired. And? Tip number three. And by the way, all these things you said, everybody, if you take it and apply it to business or try to achieve a goal, Mr. Frank, it also works. Tip number three. Is only applying a couple, three times. And you need to, it's a numbers game. You need to apply and apply and apply and apply outside your area. I've never done a TEDx that I didn't have to fly to. And finally, Mr. Frank, thank you for joining us today. Um, how that as farting sharks, how can they get a hold of you? It's your TEDxCoach.com, your TEDxCoach.com. And what's some final words you want to ta- tell our crowd today? That a TEDx will not get you a booking or necessarily sell books, but it's not going to hurt. Thank you, everybody. You have came to the tax man show. Like I always say, sharing is caring. And we'll see you on our next show. Talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, Bye. Thank you, Frank. You bet. And...